I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to interview Alberto Pacci, who is the Director of Data and Storage Services at CERN IT. Hi, James. Our first question is, discoveries in physics require state-of-the-art IT infrastructure. What are the challenges that face CERN? Probably the most important challenges that we are facing is to keep up with the evolution of computing that we have been witnessing in the last 20 to 30 years. In particular, storage and networking are crucial to ensure a very high efficiency in data analysis processing at CERN. From your perspective, what will cloud computing bring to research in your field? Cloud computing is one of the most important innovations that has happened in the recent two to three years and this represents an important opportunity to in maintain or increase our efficiency prob probably but certainly re reducing our costs in terms of overall uh, cost of ownership. Can you give us a brief introduction to CERN Open Lab? CERN Open Lab is a framework that has been developed at CERN to allow collaboration with industry. Before Open Lab, we had to establish bilateral agreements with every industry we wanted to cooperate with. Now that we have this framework, we have a starting point through which we can very quickly uh, start mutual agreements with industry and cooperate effectively. Several upgrades are planned for the Large Hadron Collider over the next few years. How will this impact the IT infrastructure at CERN? The improvement that are foreseen in the accelerator uh, and the uh, detector will uh, increase the luminosity of the machine and the experiments and this implies increased information that the experiment will record, better quality, better resolution and this very likely will require an updated computing infrastructure in order to deliver more uh, data storage possibility and more analysis uh, computing power. As the Director of Data and Storage Services at CERN, and also as the liaison to Huawei. In your words, why did CERN OpenLab choose Huawei as their contributor this year? The motivation for CERN to have an industrial partner in storage was to explore and investigate the use of cloud storage in our data center. The, it's essential for us to understand the consequences and the changes that we have to do in our infrastructure to be ready to use industrial solutions in the next years. And within this respect, Huawei were had similar goals in uh, the investigations that we wanted to carry out, and therefore we came to an agreement that this investigating together these areas would bring a mutual benefit to both CERN and Huawei. Huawei's UDS has been successfully deployed in CERN Open Lab. What was it about the UDS product itself that made you interested in this? Specifically, the UDS product was a um, self-contained cloud storage solution. And therefore, with this unique deployment, we have been able to test, measure, all the performance that were associated with the usage of cloud storage in our data centers and to verify all the interoperability that uh, are necessary in order to combine cloud storage with an existing uh, grid-based solution. And the last question, what will be the program of work for the UDS testing between now and the end of this year? Until now, we have been testing the performance and verifying the interoperability of the UDS solutions uh, with our analysis software and with our existing grid infrastructure. And the plan we have for the coming months is to start moving real data and real applications on the UDS storage system so that we can uh, verify that even in real case solutions the performance that we are measured will be maintained 
and therefore we can then consider it as a pot potential uh, solution. Well, thank you very much for your comments. Thank you, Jim.